what is up my dogs it's your boy mike mason here for a fireside chat and a special uh east coast smell after party edition of fireside chat and i've got some dope fireside chatters with me uh, let me introduce some homies real quick and then uh, man we've got some awesome footage uh an amazing demo with chaka glass uh oof, it's gonna be tight yeah so tonight my co-hosts uh windstar glass shayla it's everybody great, yeah, it's great to have you uh your information is in the video description but you know tell, tell them where you're at what, what's going on with you uh currently i'm up in maine my little brother's getting married and uh back from melt having a blast glad okay. to be on the fireside chat very good hell yeah yeah it's great to have you yeah, it was nice to see you at Melt, and you know, it's always a pleasure to watch what you do, and some of the sections that you did for this dragon were just ah, absolutely incredible. The plated wing things, all of it was unreal. And guys, um, my other co-host, and uh, man, I mean, yeah, Josh Williams, Music Man Glass, the fucking homie. Great to have you, dude. Thank you for having me, man. Of course, of course, man. And I just have to give you the hugest uh, thanks uh, because you, know, you came out with me on this trip and listened to about 18 hours of Molchat Dorma. <laughs> and um, no, but dude, I, I mean, you really filmed hour upon hour of footage and have uh, made made it able to made us able to share so much more of this magic. I really appreciate all your hard work and your company on this trip. It was great. Hell yeah. Thanks for having um, me, man. Yeah, of course, man. Of course, dude. Yeah, anytime. I hope we can do this again. Absolutely. Um, so, guys, uh, yo, like I said, we've got uh, a, a, an after-party show. I want to I wanna take you guys to Melt. I've got, you know, kind of my uh, Grandpa Mike slideshow. Some of y'all know what, what it is if you've been with us and how we do after an event. I, you know, and then some mini demos. Uh, a, a, a goblet foot. That's fumed with Jason Howard, who was there doing absolutely amazing stuff and definitely rocking the freshest pants in, at, at Melt, period. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we've got uh, a claw from this amazing dragon assembled with Hick Dog. And then uh, a demo of the Ice Cave tech with Chaka. And this is uh, this, this look. It looks cold worked, but you'll find out that it's not. A really cool technique um, that kind of plays with the optics of glass, you know, and kind of plays towards the, the material or whatever. So just to give you all a heads up about what's happening. Yeah, we've got uh, some giveaways to do afterwards. Yo, I know some of y'all are still waiting on some prizes. I On my next round of packs, I'll get through the rest of that. But yeah, we got some fresh sticker packs for y'all out there. And I've actually got a very special uh, gift uh, from Brandon Dorn, Monster Glass. He gave me uh, one of these uh, beanies to give away, along with some stickers and such. So uh, we'll do that after these demos. And yeah, let's pop this party off. Glass Central Station, that's me. God, what a pleasure it was to get out and uh, flex on these cameras again and... You know, these are the companies that pitch in every month, you guys. Take just a minute to give them some daps or whatever. Um, yeah, they make it possible to get to all of these shows. In the meantime, I've I completely redone my editing rig so that I can get you guys more footage faster without freaking wanting to put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> kind of vibe. Um, anyways, you know, I'm going to hear from some sponsor. Could you not reference suicide while we're... <laughs> whatever um no anyways for real though these companies and some of y'all out there pitching in on torch pass uh have just make it possible to do what we do here which is bring this like espn style coverage you know high quality coverage for our industry and yeah i i can't thank all these homies enough and you guys out there pitching in and you know and everybody here too it's, it's not about the the money just being part of the audience makes this possible, so I really appreciate all y'all out there. But specifically, these cats give some money. So, <laughs> all right, guys, uh, this is the spot where East Coast Melt 2020 was held. Um, it, it's a little different. It, it's just in a different part of the state. Instead of like the the Poconos, it's now kind of down in the southeastern or whatever corner of Pennsylvania. 
Uh, really beautiful though, similar vibe, wooded. Kind of reminded me of the DFO actually. Um, and yeah, here's here's our torch, our flame working area. The melt sign is out in effect. And over here uh, was basically where like all, stuff that would have been in uh, like the the cafeteria before, like the ABR store and the other sponsors selling stuff. The melt homies selling things, and then the rest was this grounds where everybody could camp. Now, of course, a lot of people were like, how is this being done in 2020? Uh, this is how it's being done, man. It's like a party for millionaires in the Hamptons or something. Uh, the homie is a licensed EMT, uh, and, and they had blood tests being done as everybody rolled in. And, you know, it just it is what it is, man. It's a, it's a weird year, and it's, it's awesome we got to do this. Um, and this is, was kind of the secret sauce, you know, that made everybody feel comfortable and made the state of Pennsylvania feel comfortable or whatever. Like they had some pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, firm restrictions about events, you know, once you get over anything bigger than like a family gathering. So, uh, these were the tests, they were blood tests and they, they gave you a reading in about 10 minutes and, you know, and from there, look at this, we're kicking it <laughs> just like back in the day. And I, I don't know, I mean, for those of y'all out there who haven't had this, I'm telling you, man, it's like a breath of fresh air to, to be together with our friends. And, oh, man, there's the homie Freddy doing the thing, um, holding it down in the, uh, in the food area there. Now, for food this year, they basically had a, an open uh, kitchen where you could order from a menu of a bunch of different things and they'd have specials each day and stuff. It was great. Um, there were fireworks that lasted until, uh, the fire department showed up essentially. And this was like the property is on, it's in like the backyard of the fire department. So they were there in a few minutes. So we're, <laughs> there wasn't much of the fireworks to enjoy this year, but they tried. <laughs> I mean, we got away with it for a little bit, but yeah, at a certain point, those dudes come flying up like, no, 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 you cannot do this. There will be no fireworks at Mini Melt 2020. The cannons didn't bother them, though? I, that, I mean, that woke me up, so I wasn't there to see <laughs> what happened when, when that went down. That and, was insanity. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I gotta give some props to the Stoked homies. This was the Stoked bonfire, and it's always a pleasure to cross paths with them. So, yeah, yeah. Um, to Charlie and Tasha, thank you for all your great vibes and good company. It's it's always great to see them. Yo, I thought this was a cool moment to share. I caught Jess, the homie from Carlisle, cleaning a torch, so... You know, it's like, I mean, cleaning torches, sure, but how often do you get to see somebody who actually works at the company doing it, right? So here yeah. he is cleaning out each of these ports, and then in a second he's gonna give it the, uh, he's gonna give it what for or whatever. It's uh, the, the 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 beating stick comes out, and yeah. I, I just think it's crazy to see exactly how the Carlisle homie beats the torch, because uh, it is not nice. I would not have done that to a torch. There's nothing more therapeutic than beating the shit out of a torch, okay? That's why you can, you know, only do that with uh, Carlisle's and Bethlehem's. Can't do that right. with DPT. Yeah, I'm imagining, like, an office space scene where the torch that fucked your piece up, you know, we're all stomping on it in a field. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get it clean. Yeah. Carlisle's <laughs> about the only torch you can do that with, too. Carlisle's oh, and Beth's. Right, yeah, Bethlehem's, but... I mean, look at this. Would oh, you yeah. do this to a nice shiny Bethlehem? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I do that to my CC Plus on a weekly basis. All right, all right. I'm telling Kate Burners on y'all. <laughs> Kate <laughs> loves me. <laughs> Kate's the shit. I love Kate. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, yeah. And then look at this. I mean, this bad boy is looking like it's running new. So that's just one of the services performed at, at Mel. And actually, Jason Howard who got speak of the damn devil. Man, that was bad timing on the uh, pop-ups there. Sorry, Jason. But yo, this is Jason Howard, the man with the freshest pants at East Coast Melt. 
Perry. I think I should get in on that running for fresh pants. Just True. So. You do. I know. I know. You really, and some of the pants always seem, your tights always seem to coordinate with, with what you're making. All you right. Got, you got some serious, like, pants <laughs> game. Don't get me wrong. But this year, this the year. The Moon Man pants were out of this world, I yeah, will say. This, <laughs> this year, the crowd has to go. And to he wore them every fucking day. He like did, right? Yeah, phenomenal. it was like the first day he had something more pedestrian, and then all of a sudden it was Disco Pants Man. It was, it was great. Ready to cut loose, and and uh, that's what it is, though, man. Melts one of these, man, you know. It's like going to a music festival. You can be yourself, relax, and enjoy, and understand that that nobody's gonna judge you or you know give you a hard time for being who you want to be. You know, throw on your bear onesie or whatever. Like like Josh had the dopest bear costume, man. He was running around in. Yeah. This is the this, this is the, the, the warmest asshole out there. It was, oh, great. It was a sloth. That's <laughs> right. Okay, sorry. You you make bears, but you were rocking in the sloth. Yeah. Anyways, okay, so uh, Jason, guys, he's an incredible cup maker. If you're not familiar, um, and and here he's making a, a a foot, so he's gonna blow this foot out and then give it his you know kind of trademark fume that goes from this you know kind of an amber to a purple, and yeah, I, I'm gonna watch the man do his thing. But yeah, he started by pulling out a point and. I feel like this is the type of thing he could do in his sleep, so he's probably not going to, like, adjust the point handles and all that jazz. It's a yeah, pretty nice um, point. I don't think he has to adjust it at all. Right, yeah, yeah, totally. It's, it's point pulling pro. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, but, it, you know, so, sometimes it's less about adjusting the angle than it is about thickening the, the connection, you know, between what you're blowing out, so... But he, I, I, I don't think that he feels the need to do that because, like I said, I, he, he can make a foot in his sleep. Um, anyways, here it's fun to watch his methodology for twisting this up. You can see that he's doing most of the twisting in the flame. Um, I come from a bit of a different school. Not like I really went to school, but you know, I learned from Kiva Ford who kind of likes to soak that heat in and then do most of the twisting outside of the flame. Um... Okay, the, the homies in the chat are asking, uh, is this like a spring melt? I mean, this just happened. We just got home from this event. Um, this is the replacement uh, for uh, the East Coast Melt 2020, which is typically held at a summer camp. I should have mentioned this. I, I, I assume all the crowd knows, but that was my fault. Um, yeah, so no, this is uh, where it was held this year instead of the summer camp. And, I mean, it's funny you mention that because I, I don't want to, like, spoil anything, but there were talk, there were rumors of there being some kind of spring event here. But I don't think it's going to be exactly the same as East Coast Melt. I don't want to spoil any details or get ahead of anything that hasn't been settled yet. So let me just shut up about that. But, um, <laughs> as you guys can see, the homie, um, he squatted that uh, bubble a bit. So he, he twisted it up and kind of blew it out and then squatted it. Um, something that I've noticed ballers do, like Chesre Toffolo and such, uh, is that when you squat that that bubble, definitely close the the point off. Or if you have it on a blow tube, close off the blow tube. You want a little back pressure. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> in the background. This is Mel, baby. Him. Welcome to Melt, y'all. It's it, it's such a great time and you know such a great vibe. It was so good to be there with 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 all the homies and, anyways, um, a little bit of back pressure when you squat that foot. I, I I've tried it. As soon as I picked that up, like it made all my feet, all my squatted bubbles come out, really nice. So I I think yeah. that was just I I'm pretty sure I saw him do it. Just something to note though. And then, yeah, uh, so he took that other point off and condensed the glass back until it was solid there so that this will kind of form the connecting glass to where it will uh, meet uh, the the stem of the goblet or whatever. Yeah, volio. Right, exactly. Yeah, volio. I just made goblets for my brother's wedding. That's tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Well, congratulations to <laughs> it fun. him it and your dope. family. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be sick. I made goblets since the last goblet game at the Champs show, so 
It was, okay. it was good. It was nice. Like with the October one or whatever? Yeah, like a year ago. Right, coming right. Up. Shit. Yeah, that was like, in, it's like dog years in Rona time, you know what I mean? No like, shit. That was at Just least seven forever. years ago. I'm feels sure. like it. <laughs> it feels like oh, this melt was last year. Shit. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, afterwards, man, me and Josh had a bit of uh, an adventure, man. We really, uh, yeah. I think Josh, you were the one who came up with the notion that we had fit 2020 into like about a, you know, a couple of weeks. Um, True. Yeah, man. We went to Bush Gardens a few days. I uh, saw a ton of my friends in Virginia and got to kick nice. it with them. Uh, we went to a museum. We saw the homies at the glass studio. We saw we did Skyline Drive on the way back, which is one of the most beautiful drives in the country, if not the world. You were telling me about that. I have to do it, that someday. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Um and we hit it at a fun time. Like it was super foggy when we got there and then it cleared yeah. up a bit later. Yeah. yeah. It was uh it was an epic day to be there. I've actually got a bunch of the uh files downloaded and may maybe I can um Maybe I'll share some of that footage after the show if you guys want to see some like beautiful mountain views and stuff for a few minutes. If you'll humor old Grandpa Mike over here, <laughs> is really that what am. we're calling you now? <laughs> I think that's what I'm calling me now. At least I, uh, I I I ran into an old friend I hadn't seen in a few years, uh, and they were like, they were like, dude, <laughs> hey, your beard, it's all gray. I was just like, what? <laughs> This is the first thing you notice. Damn it. <laughs> Assholes. Yeah. So, yeah. No, you know, they were just giving me some shit, but uh, it was pretty funny. It was then, then, and then, uh, just earlier today, I think I was on the, I logged back into the YouTube account and saw somebody had left a comment on a video of like uh, crunk chip stacking from, from melt 2017, actually. Oh, shit. And yeah, and and I loaded it up to to check on on what they were talking about, and I and it was there it was it was me, in 2017 looking way younger. I was just like, oh, damn. <laughs> you know, I was going through pictures and I noticed we all are starting to look a little old. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's yep. it's hitting us. Yep. I was just like, man, look at what this Facebook group has done to me. <laughs> 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 blame it on facebook yeah Sorry. yeah <laughs> yeah i like how he attaches the stem before he flares it that's smart that's a baller move that kind of reminds me of toffolo doing the same thing you know like uh flaring his cup after he attaches it and like moves like that like i mean you've really got to be confident to to do those type of moves with a bunch of distance you know what i mean like, it takes a lot of the air out though which is brilliant uh, yeah, yeah. Keeping that shit on point is hard. I agree. I'm just not at the point where I can mitigate that extra distance and weight and all that, you know? Like, for me, because I just don't do it all the time, that, that ups my odds of failure significantly. So, you know, I'm the type of guy who's got, like, all those nice grabbers so that I can avoid that, that step. <laughs> nice. Avoid that risk, you know what I mean? But, yeah, no, when, when you can do it like this, you can... Yeah, avoid that type of seal and all that business and or do it at a more advantageous time, at least. Anyways, um, gosh, I was mentioning... Okay, so we saw Jess, the homie from Carlisle. You? Yeah, man. Huge shout-outs to Love him. Jess. He's a super nice Jess guy. Jess is amazing. Yeah, Jess is, Jess He's is a Tool man. fan, too, so... Fuck yeah. yeah. Turning the music up at Melt. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, and then I wanted to mention that that Jason, uh, he's like the Herbert Arnold, you know, resident expert and retunes these for people. There's a model named after him officially. Nice. If you're not familiar, so uh, he was also there helping people who had Herbert Arnold's. That's awesome. Yeah, I just thought it was a neat little little bonus, you know, for people uh, who were there and. Yeah, super cool. Now here he's going to need to open this up and, in theory, get a really centered and flush and even hole to flare. And um, I, I, I know he does it on the cup. Let's see if he does it on the foot. But, man, he really does this very similar to you would at the furnace. And he has, like, a sofietta that he puts into the front to, to like, puff out the front profile of it. 
I'm not certain he's going to do that here, but <coughs> we'll find out. And so there, yeah, he was keeping that um, point handle supported while it got hot. And now he's going to use what's these diamond shears, if you're not familiar with what these are called. They've, they basically close in a diamond profile such that you can kind of restrict and then by doing that crimping as it cools it adds a bunch of stress and in theory you end up with a really nice hole that's going to want to flare out nicely that's beautiful yeah the, these cats who work kind of in this italian style you know and get good with the diamond shears are just yeah they get those holes opened effortlessly that and the the jacks i really want to get a nice pair of jacks same okay. same i like my jacks the thing that i need to, to get i had a pair of parchofi oh and, uh, yeah for opening the cups specifically um you know because like the graphite parchofi specifically to be clear and you know that allows you to really get that lip and everything refined in a way that like i won't do because i'm afraid of getting my jacks too hot mm -hmm. so, yeah there's yeah. like that's like I've already got jacks, so for me the next like I I had the parchofi and then I didn't really use them much, and now I realized that was a huge mistake. I should have just kept those for specifically for you know like for getting the the hole like this I would use the jacks, but then at this point I would kind of switch to the parchofi because it you know. No, okay, here it is. Check this badass Sofietta out. This is like some furnace style shit right here. That's beautiful. Yeah, see, and just the front face of that bubble is hot, so just that is what's coming out, and it's, you know, really allowing it to refine that shape in, in, a, in a way that, that he prefers, you know. Offers a different type of control. Well, it's thinning out that lip, too, in a way you can't do any way else. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean, you know, it's making that profile as it scoops into that lip, you know, more advantageous to work with, and... All right, and then here's another thing, you guys. These are the, like, um, what do they call them? Like the Menzies series paddles that have the built-in notch from Griffin. Mm. But there, I've, there's probably a Blast Shield version, too. But whatever, those those paddles with the notch are really helpful for moves like this. Because you kind of can rest it in there, and and it, it gives you a different center of, of uh, gravity or whatever. It takes all that weight out of it. Remember I was mentioning earlier how like I don't like to work this far away from anything that I'm shaping or whatever or have that extra weight and stuff. You know, so I would yeah. do this move without all that extra stuff on there. Like this allows him to mitigate some of that. I'm just being a pussy in general, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> th this allows him to be a badass more effortlessly or whatever. <laughs> That's awesome. Watching him heat that uh, flare is really cool. Yeah, totally. Like, he's reading it, and he sees exactly where it needs that heat and all the angles that it needs to hit. It's fucking beautiful to watch. That's yeah, awesome. and I, it was so nice to be, be back in the cut, you know, filming fun stuff like this for y'all out there. It really is. Um, it had been a... It, you know, like I said, man, it, it's like dog years or whatever. It, f it feels like it's been years since I actually got to... You know, put this camera on amazing stuff, and, you know, it was such a pleasure, and, yeah, it was everything I've been missing. I feel very lucky to have made it to the to the Glass Vegas and Champs that happened in 2020, because, um... Right? Yeah, those were, like, the real, like, genuine last opportunities. I don't think there, there was anything close. Now, here, check it out. Here's where he applies this fume. I think he just maybe lit it up with some silver first, and then I think he's going to go into the gold and then back to the silver. You'd have to ask the homie. Yeah, it's definitely that gold that's giving him that gorgeous purple. So it's just a matter of seeing where that purple went on, and then the, like, the other moves are the silver. Probably a little silver first to help it stick, and then, then that gold to give it that purple. And I think he might even go back in on a little more silver, I'm not certain. Yeah, 
in any event, um, you know, I have the full cup here actually, or uh, and like one with uh, Josh Mize as well. Um, but I wanted to share this and uh, some other stuff that we're gonna see coming up, just to kind of give you guys a taste of what it's like. I mean, whether you've been here before and you missed it this year, or or you or you were there and you just want to reminisce. You know, or whatever, but this is a taste of what it's like, you know, whether you're working on the torch and, you know, melting with the homies or you're, um, you know, wandering around and catching people doing amazing stuff like this. So, man, I did not do a good job of making those little pop-ups avoid the names. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. As uh, as we were saying, man, we've been away for like years. It feels like <laughs> Calvin, <laughs> Calvin oh is in too. every shot. This is great. Yeah, he made <laughs> a, a a thing where he would get behind any shot that I was uh, shooting. So nice, Word. you did good. Man, I'm impressed. Yeah, they they don't do this for me. Uh, they <laughs> they, they, I'm way too serious for the, for that. <laughs> No, sometimes people do, but I'm always zoomed in way too much. They're always like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, sorry, man. Nobody's going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> guys, whatever. Shout out to Drew Downs in the back. That was actually his COVID test that we saw earlier. <laughs> Just removed his signature and stuff. Eating yeah, the French fries. Time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he's enjoying some cheese sticks there is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Those are awesome. Yeah. Those and are guys, bomb. okay, so like I mentioned, um, the food, we there was basically a kitchen running at all times. And this year there was no stopping. Like at, at the summer camp, they have to refill the generators. So they, they stop the, everything at a certain time at night, like 2 or 3 in the morning. Here it was like, y'all just keep going. And they did. And, yeah, we uh, went hard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all did. Y'all really did. Oh shit, Charlie in the background from Stoke, my man. Always nice to see him. Is that Sarah and and uh, Santi there? Yep. All right, fuck yeah, the homies. Um, anyways, the kitchen. Uh, was was running at all times, and every day there were really cool specials like like. Mostly fried foods, chicken tenders, uh, grilled cheeses of amazing varieties, all that type of fun stuff. Um, but yo, know, one night they did the goddamn thing with the fucking filet mignon, right? Oh yeah. Is that what it was? Is that what cut it was? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And man, so and they fucking murdered it. They were cooked perfectly with the freaking the mushrooms. I'm not even a big mushroom guy, so I think I passed those off to you, Shayla, as I recall. But yeah, I ate the fuck <laughs> out of those. <laughs> this is I mean, sad. they look dick. But and then the vegetables. I was so fucking hungry at that point too. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it. yeah, it was amazing. Um, yo, by the way, we're watching Hick Dog do one of the dragon claws, and I thought you guys might just like to see the assembly here and the various steps that he goes through to assemble the claw on this thing. It's meticulous. Yeah, yeah, exactly, it is, and, you know, that's just what it takes to get, it, it, on a piece like this, like, there's no fucking around. You can't have, like, any, you know, every single well needs to be 100%, all of that, you know, especially, too, because, I mean, Shayla, like, you put so much work into this, uh, Christian put so much work into this, like, you gotta do this right, so what we're watching here is, is you know, a little meticulous, but th th this is what it takes. You're watching extraordinarily high value work being done by like 10 out of 10 level practitioners. This is what it takes to do it. You guys have seen seals like this. You guys have seen him do like a cannabis leaf with similar methodology. I just think piece it's a pleasure piece. to watch. I'm sorry, Shayla. Oh, piece by piece. He was bitching about those toes all day. <laughs> was he really? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I gotta go make more toes. <laughs> yeah that's what it's like i mean you know imagine like a lego set you know and you open that box up and there's like 18 different bags you know that's yeah. what it's like you know what i mean like all right i gotta make this bag and that bag and i think i recall together. uh 
hick dog always trying to pass off uh, making toes to uh, Calvin. <laughs> always. Oh, right. really? That shit was funny. Yeah, yeah he's okay. like, hey, Calvin, you sure you don't want to make toes? He's like, I don't know, man. He's like, it's just like making heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It was really cool at this melt because, like, so many of the people who are normally running their asses off doing the staff right. mode actually got to blow glass and hang out. Yeah. It was really sweet. Yeah, we, we might get into an extended uh, footage session here later because I've got so much cool footage. Footage of Patty You're doing nice. an absolutely, like, miniature uh, figure. It's so fucking cool. Uh, Calvin. I've got we've got him doing multiple squid words, both of them in collaboration with Josh Mazze, yeah. who is working on the torch as well. We have Paul Catherman, motherfucking Polly Two Fingers, mm -hmm. uh, doing a fucking uh, melt steely, because the homie Jess, okay, the homie Jess who we saw adjusting the Carlisle earlier, okay, he has a trailer. And he showed it to me at Melt. He's like, Mike, come in here. You guys see this. I was like, what? All right. What's going on? I thought he was going to like show me like drugs or something. No. <laughs> I go in there and it's like a fully functional print shop. And he's making like the Dicro images and all this shit. And like, yo, he makes like professional like vinyl cut signs and all that for businesses, boats, all that stuff right out of this amazing trailer. And it's like a fully customized trailer that he can sleep in and all that. But it's also like a full on print office and so he made the, the these melt 2020 dicro images and then did all the blasting and all of that right in his fucking trailer there at melt and then gave them to everybody so there's all these different pieces that have like a melt 2020 dicro thing and um in this case fucking like i said man paul catherman one of the you know there's like five dudes who really own and operate this motherfucker right it's fucking sean gold the chic Todd Dunlap, mm. the fucking money organizer, manager man type motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, like, Todd's seriously on top of his game. Um, and then Kevin Beecher, who you guys know, man, the, the fucking homie melting beer bottle dragons and making amazing marbles and making amazing Sherlock's and recyclers and all that. Don't forget that steak. Yeah, uh, yeah and the, the most amazing cook, um, the man whose love lang language is truly f feeding others. Um, he's killer at that shit <laughs> yeah, yeah and then uh paul catherman like i said Polly two fingers uh who am i who am i missing is that it oh and then and then uh, josh Mazze, i was mentioning earlier and so these guys all came together with this idea to do this i think they were you know inspired by um what is it agi art glass invitational they, they'd all done that and i think kevin even did the cooking there at times I'm not certain. This is testing my memory here because I didn't go to that. They're, they've just told me. But anyways, these dudes came together with this vision to do this summer camp for glass workers. Uh, you know, with everything available at this camp and the, the, all, all of it. The main stage and the tent where 120 plus people can work. Yo, this homie in the background, <laughs> that is Carmine. The homie from the Heady Hop Shop. I have to give him the hugest shout out. Uh, him and Steve, man, uh, with the Richmond uh, CBD company, super sweet dudes. Like, really, really nice guys. Carmine actually jumped on the torch for the first time, and uh, Patty taught him to make a marble. So he did, like, a little marble demo. At this point, he was, like, showing his wife or whatever. is like, yo, check this out, baby. He was going live for her the whole time. Um, anyways, yeah. Not to get too far away from the glass. I mean, like I said, we're having an after party here. So, you know, th there'll be a show about this dragon where we can talk more technically about this and perhaps under less of the influence. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I will you guys... say, uh, going back to the guys, Carmine and Steve. Yes, please. They, uh, they happen to purchase that dragon, so it'll be heading there here pretty soon. Oh, wow. So they're all stoked on it. That's so really awesome. on real quick. That's beautiful. That's so nice to hear. Um, yeah, it's really cool. That is really cool. Um, but yeah, yo, the homie's got those claws bridged up, and it looks like he's kind of sculpting some detail back into it now that he's got those seals right. Would that be fair to say, you guys? Yeah. Word. On point. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some homies here who can check me if I'm fucking up. Shit. <laughs> 
Got you, Mike. Word. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's great to have y'all here with me. It was, it was so nice to actually, you know, kick it in, in person and, you know, live. Like I guess, man, like if, if you've been, if you just tuned in or in the middle, if you missed the beginning and I showed like how this was done responsibly, so to speak, um, COVID tests at the door as you rolled in, temperature checks every day. I was mentioning Todd, you know, one of the organizers, he was like, other people too, but man, like Todd was on the sanitizing, man, going through there, hitting the kilns all the time, everything that people touch, you know, it was, I felt like they did a really good job. And yeah, yeah. me too. They were hard and they did yeah. it right. It was yeah. a great way to kind of break the industry into doing things in 2020. Yeah, Perfect. totally. Um, I understand now. I, I saw some details today, actually, about Orlando Champs. I don't know if anybody out there is doing that, but I mean, if you're yo, if you're like in need of a trade show, man, I suspect that. I don't know how it's gonna be. Actually, I suspect it's gonna be good because people are ready to fucking move. You know, yeah. Um, but in any event, uh, I saw some details today. Apparently, everybody is going to have to wear masks at the show. And, like, all of the traffic is going to be done in, like, directions. So it's going to be, like, a flow of traffic, everybody in masks, uh, much more spacing. So I, I, I understand that they're making adjustments, and it all sounded pretty, pretty fucking good to me, actually. It was, like, I can imagine some people bitching about that type of stuff, but it's like, hey, wait, when you want to do it, do it right, um... So yeah, like like you said, John, like these these steps these cats are taking, you know, to to adapt our industry to this. I mean, Champs is doing the virtual shows too, and there was great feedback on that. But I think at the end of the day, a lot of us are really hoping that we're going to be able to get back to doing this business in person. And I mean, so much of it is, you know, kind of kicking it with these people and you know, feeling that the vibe and, you know, like they're seeing your work and, you know, like you can feel that they're genuinely excited by it or what, you know what I mean? There's these things that you just don't necessarily get in a virtual show. It, not to take away from that too, if that's what it's going to be like, like I said, like the feedback was excellent. Like people who did it all seemed to like really put, put a kill into it. So yeah, I don't want to be negative or anything. I just mean to say that Man, we're all hoping shows get back to what they should be, you know, which is us kicking it and having booths and all that type of thing. So anyways, that's in Orlando coming up. If anybody is down that way, it's, I mean, it looks fun. Like the, the hotel where everybody's at is like a nice resort. We're moving these bridges and tipping these claws off now. And you can really see that detail now that he added to this. And guys, this this ice dragon this is a true collaboration between the artists involved. Um, not just in terms of the artistry, but also in terms of like the way you guys work together to assemble this thing. It was uh, really amazing. But uh, the the prep here is kind of is like this ice lake pattern uh that shaka does and it's like uh it, it's a mixing i got did this demo years ago i called it marble tech you know where i just mixed down grays and whites you know until they were like halfway mixed you know and you get these gorgeous marbleized organic looking patterns um it's similar to that but like 18 different steps you know it's like the super advanced version of that um and he has all these various uh, component type of canes or hollow things that get that come together uh, be they drill mixed or striped or or whatever it'll be but that pattern is uh, we have some pretty extensive footage of that that I'll be looking forward to sharing in the future where we'll really see it go from a bundle of rods to like you know those getting mixed in with the clear and then this one getting mixed down this way and then this one getting striped onto this one and all these various steps to make this prep that has this absolutely gorgeous look that, I mean, if you see it, you just know. It's like, that's fucking Chaka. And after we share that video, you'll be like, that's fucking China. But no, I'm just playing like... <laughs> 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 I, 
I don't. I, I really, yo, China man. They don't need to watch Torch Talk to fucking to figure that shit out. They they have like the people over there. If they want to make something, they're gonna fucking make it. They do not need us to tell them how to do it. They they can. They'll, and they'll come up with completely unique ways of doing it too. It's. Anyways, not to get into like a Micah Evans thing or whatever, you know. <laughs> Where are we going with this night, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's going to curve out that back claw. thought that was a fun thing to watch there, too. But yeah, it was melt, you guys. It really was. Um, there were definitely, like, a bit less people there this year than, you know, a typical melt year or whatever. But it was still melt. It was uh, just a bit more intimate, which was kind of nice, you know. I feel like, like everybody really got to know everybody this year. Excuse me, in a in a in a beautiful way. It was, uh, yeah. I mean, there were not go karts, but you know, there were go hearts. Not just playing. All right, all right. There was a go kart as a correction. There was. Just saying, there was oh. one go kart. Okay. Electric bikes were the vibe this year. Fuck they were like yeah, those, they were. The little electric <laughs> yeah. bike things. Yeah, those looked like a lot of fun. Dude, go rad. You'll never go back. Yeah. Pretty epic. Was that your personal one, Shayla, that you had? Or did somebody let you borrow that one? Oh, no, that's mine. Oh, I, nice. uh, I bought that with my Trump stimulus check. And I've never <laughs> regretted it ever since. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Trump. <laughs> Thank you, Trump. You can leave now. Get the fuck out. It's just my own political statement. Yeah, it's Don't okay. judge Torch Talk on that. <laughs> we'll be hearing about it in five years. Trust me. God damn it. Yeah, one of the champ specials. It wasn't me, but I think it was like Carrie and Will were like, Blah 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 blah. Stuff that, you know, like, they're, I don't know. I don't remember. Said I don't something. even know what they said. They were probably just like, fuck Fox News or whatever. I don't know what they said, but yeah. whatever it was, there was like a comment every few months on that, like, blah, 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 <laughs> the politics, Trump 2020, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, That's okay. funny. Just remind yeah. you of it years yeah. later. Totally, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just like, man, I think nuts. I was on a smoke break at that point, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm all over the board politically. So I don't identify with any party, so it's... You're not going to catch me ranting about that. And if you guys may recall, we only support one presidential candidate here on Torch Talk, and that's Vermin Supreme, who joined us what? on the show. Hell Believe yeah. it or not. I mean, that is probably the most surreal episode. He actually posted in the group the other day, man. I forget what it was. He posted something in the group. Oh, I was man, like, oh, shit, great. Vermin Supreme checking in on us. Anyways, yeah, um... You know, and, and and I'm not even kidding. That's actually a fascinating episode because, I mean, we we kind of get into talking about why he does what he does and the way that he does it and how he's trying to influence the political process. And, um, I mean, if you guys don't know who we're talking about, he's the dude with the boot in his head, and he's like, everybody gets a pony and, and all these ridiculous. I want a pony. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't, <laughs> right? Right, but um, he's like the okay. dude who like uh, glitter bombed one of these anti-gay type of dudes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's fucking amazing. And uh, but uh, to all get right, to talk... awesome. Fuck it. What's that? I said I'll write him in. Right? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, no, but like, uh, we had an amazing talk, and and it's just fascinating to hear, you know, like a bit of detail about um mm -hmm. why somebody like this you know does what they do and uh, it's a uh, if you dismiss this guy because of some of the comical aspect of what he does like you're totally missing the point you know what i mean like <laughs> like the, this dude is is having an outsized influence on the political process because of the way he goes about it and it's pretty fascinating i'm um, speaking of fascinating though yo th here here are the homies uh, shayla you're in here Christian, there's Josh Mazay in the background, one of the organizers, Carmine, 
I mean, like, everybody had their phones out as this build came together at the end. I feel like, like, a lot of you guys in the audience probably saw some of this. Um, it was definitely ab- live-feeded for a while. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, and, and, and with good good reason because this piece is fucking incredible and the way that you guys were were working together to assemble things and keep certain parts hot that needed to stay hot all of it was fucking amazing um i I, man i i put in a bit of this footage because it's just like goddamn y'all need need to see some of this from my lens but one of the biggest both. things when making a big piece like that, it you, like if you're on teamwork, you got to do it. Especially at a melt setting, there was wind and it was cold, and there's oh, no sure. way to do it. Yeah. yeah, definitely, wind was a big factor at times. If you homies out there have never worked in the wind, like that shit's that shit is rough. Like you think of your torch as like this lightsaber or something, but the reality is that like the slightest breeze and that motherfucker is in your arm. <laughs> it's not fun. Face. Yeah, so yeah, or your face. Yeah, got an arm if you're yeah. lucky. Yeah, another shout out to the guys at Richmond Headies. Yeah. They like totally gave me some CBD stuff that saved my face after getting flash burnt. Yo, word, man. Yeah. The homie gave me some CBD cream for my back, actually. That fucking oh, thing. Oh, yeah, my the back. muscle I... freeze. Yep, the muscle freeze. That's right. That exactly. shit is legit. I know, yeah. shit. Yeah, we need to like flash them an ad or something because that stuff is legit. It's like BioFreeze, but stocked, you know, full of CBD oh and more natural ingredients. They're, well, they're really like helped. I've been using it on my carpal tunnel, and like okay. I swear that shit is getting better. Like it's not nice. just like making it go away; it's making it like go away. I don't Those know. I've had carpal tunnel for about FDA. ten years. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. That's man. Now the homie saw me struggling because I'm not kidding. Them. We were going late every night and you know I, y'all know what it is if, if you see me at a show i mean i do this in, until the torches go off or or like until i'm f- physically like past the point of failure so mm-hmm. i'm pretty fucked up after these hours and hours <laughs> of filming you know but it's, that's that's what it is man that's that's you know what i mean like i'll be okay the next day don't get me wrong one day they're gonna be like well mike you've got like four slip discs or something from all that filming and i'll regret it but for now, it's all good. Anyways, yeah, no, the homie hooked it up, man. Huge shout out to mm-hmm. Richmond CBD Supply, Steve and Carmine. Y'all dudes are the best. I, I'm, I'm a huge, kill huge it. shout outs. They kill it. Yeah, and this dragon is incredible. This is like... This is the, really cool to wing, watch. Yeah, it is. The, the, the <laughs> wings really haven't cool even gone on yet. There, there's so much more to this, but I thought this was a just some good footage to sneak into the after party just so everybody out there could kind of see how y'all were working together kind of close up and you know maybe maybe just a little more detail than than you all might have got on instagram live from 40 people or whatever but all right yeah totally and then up next is this demo finale with uh shaka well and like what's really cool is no one burnt each other Really? Like we had so many torches going and no one got burnt. That's wow. crazy. I, I, I was really expect impressed. At least one of these beards to have got like a big patch yeah. or something. Right? <laughs> yeah. It was it was impressive. There were some close calls, but we did good. And there's those other parts about to go on. There's like so many more things that are going on to that piece, but I thought that that moment was worth sharing where everybody was really Yeah. After that, it was time for Mike to retire to the campfire. Okay, so guys, this is uh, this demo finale that I mentioned. Um, And the homie is going to make an icicle and then do this ice cave tech, which looks completely cold worked, but is actually done in the flame really cool um right now we're just gonna see him pull down this this icicle uh, from this blank it looks like another one of these i'm not sure i don't think this is full-on ice lake prep this might be one of the supplemental steps in the ice lake prep or maybe it's just a really white look version usually the ice lake is a little more uh diverse in the colors but maybe because it's hot i'm not seeing it this looks like one of like just a step in between or whatever but 
in any event, he's gonna make this icicle and then give it this look that has that looks cold worked and has incredible optics and a Stoke just shared in, like a Sherlock with it. He does it in all kinds of pieces and Shayla, you were mentioning it's it's on some of it's on that dragon, like the, the attachments, is that right? Yeah, so the tail of the piece has this uh this whole nice like uh arrowhead kind of sculpture out of the lake ice rock prep and it's super sick it's one of my favorite pieces on it and then we did another part with the mouthpiece of the whole entire dragon has his lake ice around a flip that we then uh he added ice icicles to and they're really really cool came out yeah. super clean I, I looked at it at first and i was like man is this cold working and then i saw him doing it with a freaking spoon and i was like damn that is so clean and it yep. captures the light just beautifully Hell yeah. It's gorgeous. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gave it all away, guys. You did. It's a spoon! Here, be looking for that spoon now. <laughs> I gave it all away. I'm not good at this. I've been drinking all day, though, so you can't blame me. It's okay. It's okay. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I'm catching up. Yeah, yeah, totally. Speaking of, I'm going to step away for just a second, grab another one of these. Be right back. So at this point, I believe it is uh, customary for uh, a host to remind everyone in the chat that, one, you guys are fucking rad. Thank you for being here. And two, you guys should uh, like and subscribe the, on uh, the channel and on the video. So uh, ring the bells to make sure that you got notifications on so you never miss a video. Uh, trust and me, three. What's Josh up? is trying to score brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Hey, you know, I, I just, I, I, I owe a lot to Torch Talk for a lot of the skills uh, that I've learned over the years. Uh, so uh, I don't want anybody else to miss out on also learning those awesome skills. <laughs> You're awesome, Josh. <laughs> You're Staying awesome. up till fucking 5 a.m. recording glass blowers, hey. freezing your ass off. <laughs> I had this lawsuit, okay? I was warm. <laughs> Dude, I was so jealous of that shit. <laughs> I thought more people were fantastic. I, I really did. I almost did. And I felt really sad that you, I didn't bring it. Yeah, well, next year, okay? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm driving from now on, like... That was the way to go. I get to bring musical instruments and my whole studio. Yeah. It's legit. It is quite a drive, though. Fucking A. <laughs> Holy shit, the Bible Belt. The worst. <laughs> yeah, all the, <laughs> all the corn. The corn and the cow shit. Holy fuck. No bueno. But it was all worth it. Yes. Right, I'm Every back. Moment. I'm back. Josh, you didn't tell him how I paid you in half a surfboard earning, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to that. I was getting to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if y'all don't know what we're talking about, you will soon. <laughs> So yeah, guys, just the homie man making making this nice tapered shape. So, you know, that's what's been happening here. If, if you need to do something of this nature, that's how you do it. Sage advice. This is like in the Madden game, you know, and like the program doesn't really have anything to say. Right. Oh, we were talking. <laughs> they really like to get that into the end zone. You know, or really just... <laughs> says some shit that's super obvious all right there it is you guys there is the famous spoon that yeah. shayla <laughs> mentioned he's spooning <laughs> i came, I up, and I, was, I came yeah. up to him and i was like do you like spooning or what it's really awkward <laughs> really awkward <laughs> Like, baby, it's cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> it was, too. Oh. Yeah, it was some nights. 
Especially going from the uh, the campfire to the campsite, you know? Oh, that uh, was it's... brutal. Yeah, I, was I rode like... my bike, so it was, like, really fast but cold. Okay, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, no, I just walked over, and then as soon as I got to my car, I said, fuck that, this this thing gets warm, so. <laughs> I heard that. I heard you were, like, starting your car up every three hours or something. <laughs> no, 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 I just ran that motherfucker all night. I, I gassed it up knowing that uh, I would do that, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I had a plan going in, yeah, and I mean it, sometimes it would get too stuffy and I'd just be running the AC, even though it's like <laughs> forty degrees outside. <laughs> yeah, fucking no, bougie I'm, bitch. I'm a ridiculous creature. I mean, but I mean this is like I, I didn't have an RV or something. You know what I mean? Like this has got to be somewhere in between that. You know, it's like a diva version of car camping, right? I slept in my trailer in my like mummy bag with shit over my face and like made a little cocoon out of it. it yeah, dope. no, I I set up the the tent and my nice cot and all that and never used it once. Yeah, yeah I know. I, sh I should have used your giant ass tent. I was yeah, in a small yeah. ass tent. <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah, no, you more were more than welcome to. I thought you were gonna jump in that car or something too, man. You're welcome to get in there, man. The warm zone. No nah, man, I haven't been like camping in, like twenty years. So I was like, I had to do it, especially in twenty twenty. You know, I had had to have some uh, fun experiences. Yeah, it's like don't pass out in Mike's car. It'll <laughs> really hurt afterwards. <laughs> You're back, man. Sleeping in that car for two weeks. Whew. Yeah, yeah, but it was not fun. Oh, we didn't sleep in it for two weeks. Bro. Nah, nah, nah. But, yeah, no, shout out to uh, White Fire. Right, we stopped through the homies' place. We saw White Fire Glass, man. Yo, Josh got in an absolutely incredible collaboration, man. Like, if you remind me after the demo ends, we'll pop that out on screen, because... All right, guys, check this out. This is an important moment. Uh, the homie is keeping this icicle super straight, and this is just what you do with any blank. Um... What he's doing is he's rolling it on that tooling, uh, that's like a tooling roller or whatever you want to call it, because it's made for like tooling joints and that sort of thing, but it's also great for checking straightness, so, excuse me, when it's, when it's in the tooling roller, give that motherfucker a roll, and what you're looking for is the end, and you're watching for the end to rise up as it rolls around so whichever end is off is going to lift up a bit and as it rolls give it a little tap down and then keep rolling and then when you see it come up again give it a little tap down and as you repeat this process it's going to land laid straight so that's the advantage of having the tooling roller right there on your bench um i really learned and it's funny like i learned to work this way with kiva ford one of my more important teachers, I mentioned earlier when I was talking about twisting up the tubing, right? And actually, that class was back in 2015, and that's the first time that I met Christian. Um, and, you know, back then, like, he was just, he was making the penguins and stuff, but, like, it hadn't, like, fully taken over his work yet the way it has now, you know? He didn't have, like, five different incredible, different, you know, gorgeous decorative techniques that are all icy and all that. Um... He was doing incredible, like, ocean stuff at that time, too. Um, man, anyways, so I I had the pleasure of crossing paths with him back then, and uh, Kiva taught me and him to use the tooling lathe that way, and he bought that one. That's the exact same one that I have, and that's because after that class, um, Kiva wasn't making his at that time. His are like a clone of the ones that he was using then. But he hadn't like started manufacturing his own yet and these ones from hp machine that you see here are easily the best on the market in my opinion um kiva makes one that's like much more compact and is really nice it, and if you want to use it for that type of like straightening and tooling um that's fucking awesome but the hp machine is like incredibly versatile you can widen that thing up to you know, do any style of tube. Uh, the homie Whitefire we were mentioning, he's got like the 12-inch version. And you guys remember he did the one-armed lathe demo? He was doing a lot of that type of work right off of that giant uh, roller uh, before he had the one-armed lathe. And 
anyways, the, those those tooling lathes are awesome. Or not, uh, tooling rollers, rather, sorry. Uh, something to notice here is the way that the homie is reinforcing the uh, shape of the icicle. He, he does the shaping with the spoon, but then periodically he's going and rolling it back. And I think he's doing this with the timing such that it doesn't really mess with, like, the cave, so to speak, you know, where it's going concave. Um, but it's reinforcing that icicle shape. It's not letting it get too far out of whack. If he weren't doing that every so often, I feel like it would get pushed around more. And it's just leading to this really clean, uniform result. Just something I noticed him doing that I thought was worth mentioning. Something else worth mentioning is the way, like, th this is like a rod holder that he's got there, right? This like a rod holder meant for a bigger rod. A uh, Blast Shield makes them. Uh, there's like a small version and a big version. It looks like he stuffed something in on the back end so that it's not like sitting on the bottom of the way it's held. And the, 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 see that when he, when he gets the angle down there, he's, he stuffs something else in there to hold against the flat end of that spoon thing or whatever. Just something to note the way it's held in there. <coughs> Those things are great if you get like a graphite rod. That rod, I mean, they're meant for a glass rod, but you can also stick graphite rods in them and sharpen the end, and bam, you've got like a super, super cheap uh, little reamer that you can beat on up. I mean, I learned this from guys who use them on the lathe, because like where they beat the fuck out of uh, graphite reamers and stuff. So they'll use that blast shield uh, rod holder with graphite. And just swap it out for pennies instead of you know having to use some new thing or you know or have a janky handle kind of thing so anyways yeah look at this 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 technique is really cool and really does give this look like I really thought that he used some kind of like rounded burr and you know was like just cold working those divots in and then polishing them out later or something but no nah. and here he's chopping off the other end looks like he was aiming for a certain size homie rocking a stoked hat stoked sign in the background it's a stoked life the stoked homies are fuck are really cool i really like those people they're they're just an absolute blast to kick it with and Always great vibes. It was really nice to see them at this show, you know. That type of people, you know, we I talk to them online every now and then. It's just like, yeah, I miss you, yo. It's it really, uh, you know, you guys are the type of people I really uh, had. It's not that I take any of this for granted, you know, with these shows and these events. You know, I work till my back breaks, and then I, you know, I try and hang out with my homies until my head hits the pillow or whatever right but man oh man when it's taken away you know you really realize what you had kind of vibe you know straight up <laughs> it's been a rough year yeah it's been a weird year but yeah, it was such a pleasure to to kick it with you guys and yeah yeah be 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 back to something close to normal that was much needed for everyone that was there, uh, I think I could see it in everyone's uh, eyes that they were just really thankful that Melt happened and that, like, we could be, like, you know, the community again. And uh, that was just really special. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was great. Huge shout out to the Melt guys for doing this. And this was like a gamble and a half. They did not need to do this. Well, there's yeah. Sean Gold, the 2020 <laughs> Svelte Sean Gold, man. Freaking dude is a beefcake now, man. Holy shit. Check him. Anyways, um, man, he, he blesses us with an absolutely incredible fireworks show every year. Uh, and, you know, here, like, I, they, they couldn't do but so much. And then at a certain point, like I said, man, the fire department was like, yo, cut that shit. <laughs> but we had to end with, with a little bit of fireworks, y'all. <laughs> Yo, um, huge shout out to these companies that helped me get to all of these events and like, you know, when it, when, when somebody like Josh is willing to come out, it helps me cover, you know, expenses related to that. 
you know, uh, shout outs to Carrie, for example, who, you know, did the same thing at Melt for a couple of years, you know, like did absolutely huge level of effort. Um, she killed it. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Yeah, I'm so glad you could come out and kind of do the same thing. Um, yeah, these companies make it all possible. You know, Las Vegas is one of these shows where Woo, there's like, Las you know, Vegas. four people up on stage at once. It's, you know, and, and I'm able to cover a room for the homies and some flights and, you know, all that type of stuff. This isn't a big money business, but these companies all pitch in and make it possible to make these moves and, you know, to, to provide something special for you guys out there in this community and for our industry as a whole. And frankly, for the historic documentation of what's happening here, which is important, you know, 50 years from now, they're going to be like, God damn, there is like a tremendous documentation of glass working in, you know, the late 2000s or whatever they call it. But um, I'm, I'm so honored to and, you know, to just beyond stoked to be able to do this. And um, not just about these sponsors, though, it's about you guys out there as well, tuning in and, you know, they, they, there wouldn't be sponsors if there weren't an audience. So thank you all for tuning in and making this thing a, a fun party. Um, y'all, I mentioned we were going to do some giveaways. I would like you guys to um, enter your numbers into the chat, 1 through 100. Be sure not to duplicate them shits. Well, first of all, we've got a fun giveaway from the homie. Hell yeah. Monster Glass. Yeah, Brandon Dorn. Um, we got some cool stickers in here as well. What? Wait, that's a that's a business card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Anyways, look them up. Look them up. Uh, but we do have stickers. There's a pile of stickers. So yeah, no, there will be stickers. Wow. All right. Um. So yeah, throw some numbers in, and I've got some sticker packs as well. I really do appreciate all y'all out there who tune in and make this thing a party and. I don't really ever mention giveaways in like the show post, but man, hey Mike, what's up? What's up? Let me throw in on this giveaway. Oh, you are more than welcome to throw in on this giveaway. What, let's, what would you... let's let's do a bottle of ISO shine for my homies out in Iowa. Oh shit! Okay, okay. And uh, let's do a sticker pack and a T-shirt. Give it away however you want. Okay. All let's right. See. Let's see. Okay, so we got the I'll ISO ship it shine. Out. We got a yep. sticker pack and a t-shirt. Do you want to put the sticker I'll... pack and t-shirt in one and the ISO shine in another? Sure, we'll do a sticker pack and the ISO shine too. All right, so first giveaway is going to include the hat and the ISO shine. Second will include the shirt, sticker pack, and my sticker pack. And then the third giveaway is just getting a sticker pack, yo. But, what you know, what can you do? All right, all right. Yo, actually, yo, I got my ISO shine too. What? Yo, I, I hear these cats are super cool. Is that is they that right? They are legit as hell. Yeah, the guys okay. at Fresh Co are awesome. Um, me and Hick Dog have been distributing their ISO as well as a bunch of shops across the United States. Probably about the only place you can get ninety nine percent ISO right now. So, right, check right, them yeah. out. One hundred percent American made product. They're glass blowers. They're family men. They are amazing. Absolutely yeah, love them. That's fucking cool. Excellent. And yo, yo, I love the bottle. Because it's like... Isn't it um, legit? Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, you must, some. Of, I know some of y'all recognize these bottles from nutrients or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nutrients <laughs> or yeah, oils. There's yeah. some y'all out there growing. But uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. You pump that thing and boom, and it fills up the little reservoir. So you got your Q-tips here. And you can, you know, pump, pant. And, and uh, yeah, no, it's super convenient. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'm a They're big super fan. nice. Yeah, what I really yeah. like is if you leave the lid off the one, it doesn't fucking evaporate the whole fucking bottle. Which word, for word. me, super yeah. nice. That is clutch. So yeah, now I've got the one. I've got the Hick Dog one, and then yours I gave to Whitefire when we visited. So yeah, fuck yeah, spread the love. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. that out there. Well, hell yeah, that is so nice of you, Shayla. That's what's up, Josh. What are you adding it's to? Not just playing like. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally add something. I got. You know, I'm just, I'm just like. Up the antes, bro. What you got? Hey. Yeah, no, but Josh, we gotta, you gotta get like. Uh, do you have stickers, man? Am, am I missing something? Actually, I uh, just got an order of stickers in. So. Did I'm, you really? Can we see them? Uh, let me see if I got anything around. No pressure. <laughs> I mean. I want one, by the way. 
Well, yeah. sure, I will definitely hook you up with uh, stickers next time I see you. Okay. Uh, we'll trade. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, so I don't have any easily accessible, but... All right, uh, all right, all right. Another have... time. Another time. Another time. Yeah, so no big deal. Yeah. All right, so let's pick some numbers on this thing. Yo, speaking of cool motherfuckers, what? My man, Mauro Vianello. Y'all, I mean, the true master of fucking glass sea life, if you're not familiar. And, and I mean, just, just look him up, man. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's get random.org up, though. You know what we do? We put in 1 through 100, is that right? Bam. Okay. And then, yo, I want to, um... Let's ex... I want to show y'all some of that Skyline Drive. Hell yeah! I think this is the one that's already downloaded. Let's see what the deal is. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Well, let, let, let's sort them by size. All right, let, let's see. Where are the ill-advised driving shots? <laughs> I, I, I helped you with those. Uh, exactly, you know? yeah. So it wasn't ill-advised. I'm just playing. Yo, check this out. So like I said, we got Ooh. to Skyline Drive earlier in the day, and it was foggy. And this was Skyline Drive in the fog. It was absolutely incredible. Dude, this shit was perfect for October. Getting ready for October? Oh. Yeah. Look at this. This is like, woo! Until a deer jumps out in front of you. <laughs> yeah, there was wildlife, that's for sure. Yo, Where is that at? This is in Virginia. Virginia. That's part of like the Blue Ridge. Now, now, homies in the chat, somebody's saying that Carrie just popped in and told me that some people are picking over 100. Don't do that. I said uh, 1 through 100. So anybody who picked over 100... Uh, now's your chance, cause I'm gonna show a few more videos. And okay, so Skyline Drive is like um, alternates between just gorgeous wooded driving, and then overlooks like this. So you can pull into these little spots, and it's just you know you drive in the woods for a second, and then bam, and you can stop at an overlook or pass it if you want, and. You drive for another second in the woods, and bam, you're in another overlook. And this is part of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So it's, uh, blue. I was playing with it. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can see, like, these just these shades of blue in, in the, uh, the mountains. And so this is just another overlook on Skyline Drive. It was like uh, one part of the mountain was like super, super cloudy and foggy, and then the other part of the mountain was just like clear, and you could see for like miles. It was yeah. cool. It was wild. That's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I rented a little Mazda 3 like two years ago and drove through the Blue Ridge Mountains. It was amazing up there. Oh, yeah. Such a fun drive with all those tight little curves <laughs> yeah it was so yeah. fun <laughs> yeah no nah, this is very much that this is like um i mean the blue ridge parkway is dope but the skyline drive is like was made by the like the civilian conservation corps and it was this thing like part of the new deal where like all these people needed jobs and they were just like yo go build the dopest road ever <laughs> And they did, you know. And they did it, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, it, it, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to yeah, try that. They didn't play games, and look at this. I mean, like parts of it, like we're we're just chilling in the clouds, man. Like you can expect some like dinosaurs to just start flying through there, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> All right, we're going <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I drove the Blue Ridge Parkway, and I was trying to find a place to see like that, and there's a lot of it. You can't. Yeah, just yeah. Trees everywhere. Right, so this actually is part of the national park. So, like, there, you know, it's like there's a, a couple of entrance. There's a few different entrances to Skyline Drive, but the one uh, near Charlottesville is is like the southern entrance where we caught it. And look at this. I mean, it's clouds just fucking floating, floating right in my face. 
I was gonna say, oh, it's yeah. like normally what, like thirty dollars, but what day did we get in on? It was like, like National Public Lands Day or some bullshit yeah. like that. And they were Fuck like, yeah. So you don't have to pay today. I was just like, What? Everything's Sick. coming up Millhouse or whatever. <laughs> right? That's Possibly when like that. synchronicity, you know, everything's lined up. Yeah, right? look at this. This is Pretty one of like, the visitor centers oh, gorgeous. along the way. Yeah, it's absolutely epic. So yeah, not to distract too much from the uh prizes i know everybody wants but i'm this is seriously like a, a prize so, of america when you I move mean, to colorado in canyon city they have a skyline drive what really not quite as epic but it's pretty fucking amazing it's a okay. lot shorter uh it will like fucking make you want to shit your pants basically it's it's terrifying but right. it's basically like a, a ridge that you drive across, and it overlooks Canyon City. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's like one way, eight feet wide. You can drive your car through it. That's about it. All right. Huh. All right. Yeah, I was mentioning it's... that fucking miniature scu sculpture that Patty did. This oh, shit. Cool. Yeah, right. yeah. It's like, man, it's hard to really capture how small this is. And, you That's know, like, what, three mil punny? It's something like that. Yeah. It's... Yeah. She's a soft glass girl, so yeah, 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 totally. I really love her her figures too. She sent me home with a collab that we're gonna finish and or I'm gonna finish and put on a rig. So stoked God, on it! Hell yeah! Can't yeah. wait to get in my studio. Speaking of Patty, they, these these cats threw down on there. We go, yeah. Amazing, she made small, small, and then she made that giant marble. Yeah, there, she's a beast. She's, uh, what, she's normally used to working off of a Delta Elite, so, uh, working off the Herbie was new for her. I think, yeah, she was not used to that, and, uh, she was very thankful for that, uh, that robot arm. Yeah, man, the Inquala is fucking amazing. Shout-outs to Mike Peterson, man. For, Hell yeah. Yeah, the Inquala homie. Joe I really Romanowski want to buy one of those. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shayla, what? I want one of those. Me? In Koala. Hell yeah, Dwayne <laughs> Ray in the background. Freaking Polly Two Fingers. A lot of cool cats out here. Anyways, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's pick some winners here. All right, as everybody... Looks like numbers have stopped coming in. Clickety, clickety, clickety to the clack. Do we have an eight? That's my lucky number. Oh shit! Nice. Infinity, here we go. Yeah, infinity. Well, geez, it looks like a pretty small selection of numbers here. I don't see any eight. Damn. It looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to uh, sort this out. Okay, clickety clack, thirty-seven. Oh, I see one. But what is it? Oh, Brit C. Yo, that's a winner right there, right? Oh, hey. we see one. Hell yeah. All right. So, Brit C, you have won the fucking the monster glass embroidered beanie. Hey. And a sticker pack with it, with the monster glass sticker. And then, what was it? The ISO Fresh from you, Shayla? Is that right? Yeah, ISO and a sticker ISO pack. Shine? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's from Fresh Glass Company, but it's ISO Shine 99. I've got the Hick Dog version, but you'll get the, you'll get the, Windstar version. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get yeah. what you get. Don't throw yeah. fit. Gotta collect them all. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. I like all right. That. Word. Word. <laughs> they should though. It should be like custom bottles for each one. The homie oh, had like right. crazy 3D printed holders for it and shit. That was pretty dope. But that's those are gonna story. be up on my big cartel very soon. Oh, you're gonna have them. Okay. Very good. All right. I fell in love um, with mine. They're okay. Sick. Nice. They're super sick. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. They like hold it. They hold the, the Q-tips. They hold. They hold everything. Caps, all that. All Caps, right, nails, one. dabbers, whatever you want. Yeah. Yep. All right. Here we go. So this one is for a sticker pack, and I think you said a shirt and a sticker pack of yours. Is that right? Yeah. Um. Get with Mike on sizes, and I'll ship them out. All right. That's fucking awesome. Thank you. Here we go. Mm. Oh shit. I gotta pause this to say. What, we have 420 playbacks? 
Fuck yeah. All right, anyways. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, where'd everything go? 420. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Clickety clack, 48. Nice. Do we have a 48? I see a 48. And I see 148, so that's easy. That's a Joss Chiapetta. Josh, um, you won that shit. And guys, let me uh, add that if you are a winner, you should hit me up at prizecentralstation at gmail.com. That's the email where prizes are going. If you hit me up on Facebook or something, I'll, we'll probably get it sorted. But I really want them all going there so they're not getting lost in my email and stuff. That sort of thing. So yeah, all right, and um, yeah, Josh, congrats, dude. That's 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 a sweet ass fucking prize, and I got a sticker for you. So definitely get at me. Um, tell me your shirt size. Hell yeah. Uh, and then yeah, let's do one more. Fifty. What's so we got a fifty? Oh, there's a bunch of fifties here, but that's like because somebody's name has a fifty in it. Hmm. I don't see an actual, like, 50 picked. Yeah, I'm just going to pick another. 57. None. 55. None. 13. Oh, I see a 13. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's a Joe Osmer. Joe, you the man. Uh, get, get at me at, at prizecentralstation at gmail.com. Let me know you won that sticker pack. And hell, yeah. All right. Um, well, shit, man. If you guys got a minute, I'll, I'm down to run a bit more random-ass footage. There's just no promises on any level of editing or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> for my amateur uh, footage, if we ever get to mine. <laughs> no, dude, Josh, yours has been super smooth, man. Yeah, it's yeah. No, you yep. played it really cool. Uh, in in terms of like not getting all crazy with the zoom. Oh, I got like, crazy with the zoom, man. You just haven't gotten into my shit. What do you? I guess I haven't. Three I guess hours. I've, I've ducked <laughs> that that sort of thing. I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna show y'all something real cool. This is uh, the homie Durin. Yeah, Durin. Yeah, man. Durin's right, so solid, man. Yeah, yeah really I like cool. working next to that dude. He's Rocking that yeah. elite. Oh, so yeah. this, this guy ran my live feed for like two fucking hours. Did he really? Great. Well, he did. What a nice it guy. was really solid. Hell He's yeah. a great He's guy. He's really cool, man. His girl's really cool. Huge shout outs to Durin, man. Always a pleasure. So yeah, he was doing this coil pot. But I got to show y'all. Check this out. This is where it gets different. Instead of closing it off and, you know, condensing it and blowing it out a bunch of times to get the inner wall straight, my man is, is like, reaming the inner wall. Huh. I thought this was really clever, yeah. And, you know, at a certain size, this might not be as ideal. But if you're trying to get a tubing that's, you know, not freaking 50 mil or something, you know? Now, th this is... I that's yeah, looking I, real good for him. I, yeah, I thought that that made a lot of sense. I mean, that can really just kind of deal with a lot of that wall bullshit right out the gate instead of uh, having to repeat Close all these it off, cycles. Work it, open it yeah. back up. Pedro Grime likes to work that way too. Okay, I didn't know that. I've never. Yeah. I always see him fritting stuff up. I don't ever see him making <laughs> tubing. He at least he's the one that showed me that tech. Nice. I'm sure he does it, dude. He's super talented lamp worker, and I just see certain things. That's kind of what I love about seeing... glass. What's that? So that's what I love about glass. There's more than uh, one way to skin a cat. Hell okay. yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. There's a... Yeah, there's usually a ton of valid ways to do any any given thing. Yeah, I'd be looking forward to seeing Pedro, man, uh, more often, being a lot closer to him. Oh, he's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a great cat to kick it with. I enjoy his company very much, so. 
I will be looking forward to being like, son, I'm fucking half an hour south of you. Let's do this. <laughs> Anyways, well, my all right, all right. Phone is dying, Mike. So okay, I'm gonna bounce out. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us and adding to this show. Appreciate Always. you. Have fun pleasure. at your yeah. brother's wedding. Always. Yeah. It's gonna be a for blast. Sure. All right. Safe See travels. you guys back in Colorado. Yeah. 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 Much love. Mwah. All right, I thought that would be fun. What else? What, what else? What, guys, what else could we uh, jump into here? There's a lot of that dragon. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that dragon uh, was uh, pretty epic. Understatement. Understatement. <laughs> yeah, dude, I mean, this thing is fucking incredible. Like I said, I was uh, very thankful to see the uh, Ice Throne uh, Dragon that they did at the Glass Grind. Shoutouts to Cody Ricketts at the Glass Grind. Oh, uh, yeah. Cody's awesome. But this was, they said that the biggest piece that they have put together um, in, or in uh, heaviness so they estimated that what it was like five pounds of glass incredible yeah so uh they're they were very very happy about uh getting this accomplished especially a melt with all the the wind and the you know the issues that can happen just blowing glass in the in yeah. nature <laughs> of course hell yeah here's another one of these moments where everybody was working together so beautifully oh man they killed it they were like yeah a team they, they were they were the best team mm -hmm. yeah it's like we can loosen up a little now that shayla's not here and be all like oh well, shayla you got you know like full <laughs> show. remember when you guys worked together so well yeah that was cool <laughs> they were rocking that uh that sharp flame bethlehem and then yep. Chaka rocking that double uh <laughs> hell yeah yep, yep. yeah this is yeah this is a moment Moment and a half. Oh man! Oh oh oh! Yeah, needed to close that off. Yep, gotta have pressure. It's like, oh, you're leaving, Shayla. Well, we'll we can show footage of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. She's having fun out on the East Coast. Yeah, hell yeah! She no, it's so relax. nice she could join us. As that was great. Yeah, yeah speaking awesome. of scale, it looks like they're making sure that this handle is happy. Yeah, right. All that, I feel like it's that connection to the... Oh. Yeah, look at this. Oh, shit. <laughs> These are pipes from the 1840s at the Chrysler uh, Museum with Josh oh, for scale. Yeah, I want to make that pipe, like, to scale. Yeah. <laughs> do that shit. Do it. <laughs> Dude, I got, I got the samurai. We can do this shit. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a great <laughs> idea. Let's do that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you guys want to see something cool? These were rod... Uh, paintings or i don't know what you'd call them exactly but look at this oh yeah that shit was awesome right hey where'd it go oh it was at the chrysler museum yeah all right sorry this thing's being weird what is it virginia this again. no norfolk yeah all rods look at that man yeah Uh, these are great. Yeah, this is a particular exhibit with this cartoonist who started dabbling in glass as well. It's like some coons work. <laughs> yeah. Hey! We're, we're in some <laughs> random shit now. I don't know where. <laughs> we gotta stop. Who knows what kind of... Although, yo, check out this pimp-ass owl. Oh, hell yeah! The owl is yeah, we went to Bush Gardens. It was super lit. 
fucking riding roller coasters three times in a row. Yeah, totally. We even stopped at a rest area during the drive and watched the UFC. Oh my god, that's right. <laughs> Dude, I should have put my laptop. That's yeah, great. we we made the most of this trip, you guys. Yeah, it was uh, quite Wait, the time. What? The time is midnight. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I yeah, know we were watching the. Uh, we, we we pulled over just in time. I was like, "All right, here's a rest area. My phone seems to have service, so yeah, we're gonna pull over and watch this fucking uh, this show." This yeah. is like my first time, pretty much. Or I watched like one other UFC fight, so it was fun to watch this and you explain like everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I got a little. I've been watching this bullshit for a minute, and I grew up doing a bunch of different martial arts, so it's fun to watch this shit and explain some of the intricacies, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Gosh, what else, man? There's. We, there is so much footage. I don't, attempt, yeah. I don't know what to spoil, what not to. We're going to jump randomly into some of Calvin here. What is this? Oh, Calvin. Oh, look at this. This hey. Lightbender Squidward. Yo, look at this fucking piece, you guys. This is that Lightbender with Josh Mazay. Nice. He's making the Squidward uh, with it. And look at that piece. Is this fucking gorgeous or what, man? Josh's work is just beautiful and evocative and, you know... That, that ice cave, you know, we're talking about it plays to the optics of glass. You know, it's kind of like playing to the crowd or playing to the medium. Josh really knows how to do that with these stamped things. And there's actually on Torch Pass, not to turn this into an ad, but on Torch Pass, where if you throw five bucks a month, you get uh, access to a lot of what I film early. Um, yeah, we just threw one up uh, with Josh doing some stamping all over a marble. And it's got him talking about various aspects of stamping glass and things to avoid and all that. It's pretty fucking cool. Anyways, here though, he's making a squid word with that light bender prep. Light is being bent as we speak. It's crazy. Their uh, their styles really did match up well. It was great yeah. to be able to watch them do multiple collabs. Hell yeah. Yo, Breeze to Vinny, the homie. Oh, there's Vinny hey, Breeze. Yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's the homie. Yeah, man. Here he's like making leaves. We'll just watch him make a leaf. Why not? Why not? I got to meet him uh, last year, 2019, Mel. And uh, it was okay. great to see him this year. Yeah, he's a super nice dude. Oh, uh, yeah. It's always nice going to these events and seeing, you know, the homies, because it's just like, uh, just it's just like being around family again. Especially in 2020, it's a special thing to be able to be around people and uh, around people that you miss and that you weren't sure that you were gonna see this year. Oh, yeah. And uh, I mean, even Shayla. I mean, like I've seen her like maybe like twice this year, and I've like, you know, I live like 15 minutes down the road from her, so like be able to like go to melt and you know sometimes that's that's what we have that's all we have is like las vegas and melt and it's it's beautiful thank you to uh melt to, to all the people that put this together and made this happen this was much needed yeah i agree yeah we're gonna need to uh <clears throat> get on that source of those bulk covid tests you know and then we can have that right at our place <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on through, yeah. dogs. With COVID testy at the door, and then we can fucking make out whatever it'll be. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> we'll, we'll share the blow. We'll have a community blow hose. You know, we'll just pass it around. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I mean, you know, that's that's the, the real pleasure of life. Um, yo, speaking of homies, it was nice to see. I got to give a shout out to the homie Air, and I see him in the chat. Broken glass design, my boy. Hey. Yo, man, my man was killing it on the Sherlock. Oh shit! Look at this. Look at that piece. Even that prep, it's like, oh, man, it was all fancy. Like Dicro in there or something. It was cool. We'll watch him do the seal. Why not? Why not? Oh, oh. Nailed it. Yeah. Hey. 
Yeah, and then this right here is, you know, this this seal is definitely my favorite thing in glass. That I do regularly, at least, you know, because once it's bridged up and it's just an exercise in um, moving material around at will, and then like getting it hot and you know gravity and the, all of these things coming together in this way to get that sexy shape at the bottom, and it's just I feel very accomplished when I make that happen. Hell yeah! The yeah, two part Sherlock's are really, really satisfying. Yeah, yeah. So we got some we got some homies in the chat fucking on the fights that's what's up oh, i've been yeah. tempted to like just I, know, I shouldn't even talk about this but i've been tempted to do like just fully illegal rebroadcasts of fucking events in like torch talk group you know like all of a sudden it just pops up like you know what i mean like you gotta like reverse the image and then slowly <laughs> yeah yeah like, well we gotta like have it. like uh I'll be in the corner, you know, with a video game controller pretending that I'm doing the moves, you know? There you go, there you go. <laughs> did you ever see that video of the kid who did that? There you go. <laughs> this kid broadcast an entire UFC on Twitch. And he had, like, his himself, you know, the webcam, like, thing, you know, where it cuts out the background. He had himself in the corner pretending to be fighting on the, on the, on the game. Oh, my God. And he'd be broadcasting the entire UFC that way. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can find a video of this. I'll probably get a hit for it, but... Tut! Don't get demonetized. Yeah, this will be me. <laughs> Here it is. Look at this kid in the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> This shit is so funny. It almost does look like a video game, though. Like It does, man. You can't tell anymore, dude. Fucking video games are like... <laughs> video games are too real now that, that they've made this possible. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, that's... Uh, I That was a great moment in piracy or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Man, what else? What else is on the agenda here? There's Sarah J. Working on a torso. Sarah J. Shout out. Yeah, hell yeah. Big shout out. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, we're we're, we're making nipples collab. here. We're getting nipply. Getting nipply. Baby, it's cold outside. Shit. We're not playing. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, there was a fun collab of us just running behind the camera and filming and then going back and doing my part of the collab. That's true. On her beautiful uh, Bethlehem Sharp Flame champion. Yeah. Shout outs, you know, gotta, I got to do it, sorry. Prior to this, you know, we were trying to line this up and she was like, I'm about to go make a big ass. Hell like, yeah! It's <laughs> like we're gonna go film this big ass, and then the homie walks up, and we talk for a little while, and then I was like, "All right, we're gonna go do this big ass demo," and the look <laughs> on his face. Yeah. He had imagined I meant something else. I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. A real nice hammer here. Hey. Yeah, do you remember this homie's Instagram? Shit, I do not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, then it's your fault that. We're not I'm sorry. Here. Yep, that's all me. <laughs> <laughs> Just play it. I don't remember either, dog. <laughs> I got oh, a sticker man. and sit somewhere. Homie was always a good time. Super always. nice guy. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. But we did not. I've, 
completely pulling a blank on his fucking last name. What an asshole. <laughs> it happens, it happens. He's all low-key about it, though. That was, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, this, man, this is a really nice uh, hammer that he made. Brandon Dorn with that hat. Let's, let's see what he's doing here. Oh, yeah. On the Carlisle. Yeah, this is the one that we just uh, watched Jess, or not just, but, you know, the one that Jess was cleaning. Nice, nice. Yeah, so we, we filmed this on a... It, man, yo, this this uh, piece, man, the technique that he used to make this was pretty fucking sweet. I don't really want to spoil it too much, but... I didn't get the chance to see that, so I'm excited to see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the secret sauce here is that uh, he does some cutting and then pulling it out, too, to, like, get the... Uh, to get the shape to look the way it does and look so uniform. It's, super crisp. Super it, crisp. Yeah, totally. It's like a, a combination of methods here, so... Yeah, it's... It, that was a fun one. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot to... Uh, there's a lot to enjoy here, you guys. I'm excited to share more from this event. And, yeah, that dragon is going to be a whole thing. Yo, here's the beer bottle contest. We all want to see an entry in the beer yeah. bottle contest. That Brees won. Hell yeah. Yeah, Brees won that shit. Do we have Brees? I, <laughs> I think he was on his own torch and I was... Uh, yeah, he may have run off and done it on his own torch. Yeah, yeah. Hard to say. All right, well, let's watch one competitor, and then we'll probably call it a Nizite. Rizite. Joe, let's watch Joe Romanowski do hey, it. Hey, Joe. The homie. Hell yeah, fucking yeah, hit really nice guy. Making sure that shit fucking happened. Yeah, so uh, I they were trying to match. The whole point of this competition was that they were trying to match this one that uh, Josh Mazay did. and uh, Or no, no, it wasn't Josh. Uh, Kevin? Yeah, it was Kevin that, that, that Kevin. did it. And that, that was the whole point, was that uh, they had, what, three chances or four chances to try to reproduce what Kevin did. And... Uh, yeah, it was a blast watching all these guys try to do it. It was it was it was a good time, man. And, and they were yeah. timed, and yeah. uh, it was a quantity thing. They had to make as many good ones as they could in five minutes or something. Correct. Yeah, and they had to. They they were judged by like uh like it had to match as close to as possible in case like you know they were like close and because there was a lot of people that there was. There did, uh, they all did survive. Uh, there were some people that uh, didn't survive as much, but a lot of people did survive. So they did really have to get to uh, judging it by like, uh, did you know this match uh, as close as it could to uh, Kevin's, and that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was a really good uh, competition. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I amped that up. I was like, I'm throwing a milli on it. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Do some canes. And then it just started opening up, man. Like the homies we were mentioning with the Heady Hop Supplier, whatever, the Heady Hop Shop. Hell yeah. They threw in a bunch of those dank beers. There goes Jason with those pants, man. You can't argue with those pants. <laughs> he was yeah. comfortable and rocking. Right, yeah. Shayla was like, I mean, I understand where she's coming from, but no, no, no. I mean, now she did have some badass pants, and she would sometimes do a wardrobe yeah. change like during the day. So she would have two yeah. badass pants. Okay. Well, you know, Jason only had that one pair of badass. <laughs> okay, oh, we're gonna well, give her two. We'll, 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 we'll give him that. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give her that, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's it funny. Yeah, no, normally Shayla's the one with the, the the cool tights at most events. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We give a shout out to Ariel Allman too. She's always rocking some cool tights at events. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we we keep track of the, the tights. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> it's the fancy wear, you know, you gotta have some fancy wear these days. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um 
yeah, the the homegirl with with the the Richmond CBD supply. She had some Achaka's tights. That's right. That was cool as hell. Yes. And an awesome pendant by a glass blower, Music Man Glass. I have to say, you know, it was yep. a fabulous piece. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, so. No, I was very thankful because uh, you were actually hooking me up with all the heady beers that I would never yeah. be able to try on my own. Right, yeah, no, nah, I mean, same here, man. I'm not going to be that guy who's going to, like, order them, you know, from, like, some reshipper or whatever it'll be. It was, it was fun to have those there and... I mean, you were working your ass off, dude. The least I could do is put a beer in your hand. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, it was really appreciated. And then I was very thankful whenever uh, Steve and uh, Stephanie, I believe. I think, uh, you might be, I think you might be right. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they, they were uh, doing pendant trades. And I was just very thankful to have some pendants that I brought to give out to the homies that I was very thankful for. And uh, Jess from Carlisle got one. And uh, Sean Gold uh, also got one, and uh, very thankful for uh, Steve and Stephanie. They hooked me up with a four pack of that heady beer, and uh, made sure to get a nice little IPA for you because you were yep. hooking me up. <laughs> My boy. Yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah man. man, it was man a great dude. time. Yeah. Great time. Yeah, man. Now you are the one who's appreciated, brother. Beer ain't shit. Uh, dank footage like this that we can all enjoy together is means the world. So. Oh man, I was I was just very thankful to be there, man. I I needed this at, in in 2020, you know, just, just just very thankful to be a part of this. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course, dude. But for real, it's like a beer we can share with like thousands of people. So, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I like hell that. Yeah. Well, word. You know, I think on that note, you guys, we might just go ahead and uh, call it a night. Um, I really do appreciate everybody who, who joined us. Yeah, check it out. Pearl tuned in to... Uh, hey, tonight. Big Pearl! Big Pearl! Yep, yep. Good cat. Anyways, you guys, I like I said, I really do appreciate everybody who, who took the time to join us tonight. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Um, man, everybody who came out to Melt, it was such a pleasure crossing paths. If you didn't, it's okay. Uh, join us next year. Um, and like I mentioned, I, I like I said, I don't want to spoil nothing, but I think the venue that you guys saw... I think there'll be something happening there. I don't know exactly what yet. I don't want to get ahead of the homies or anything. I just know that we all had such a special time that by the end of it, everybody was like, everybody was kind of thinking about what, what could be done there next. So um, I hope to see some of y'all there. I hope to see y'all at Mel. I hope Glass Vegas happens. I don't know, whatever. I, ho I, I, I love y'all. I really do appreciate everybody who tunes in and um, keeps making this possible. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand y'all off to my dog, uh, for hopefully more elegant exit. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but but Josh, I really do appreciate you, man. Um, you really did. You put in a hell of work, uh, and and we have so much cool shit to share as a result. And man, I had a blast with you, man. We did so much cool shit. Hell yeah, that shit was tight. Hell yeah. Let me let me let me let y'all bid the homies farewell though. All right. Well, I, I first of all, I gotta say thank you to everyone that's uh, that's even viewing this. Uh, you guys are the true champions. You guys make this happen. Uh, I am so thankful to uh, be a part of this amazing community, this class community, this torch talk community, uh, that we can all get together and have these. Uh, you know, on on Tuesday nights, it's, it's a beautiful party, and I'm very thankful uh, that Mike has allowed me to be a part of this. And uh, we had a great time in Melt, and we had a great time uh, traveling around, and we really did make the best of 2020, and I'm very thankful that we do get to share a lot of footage and a lot of just amazing moments in our in our 2020, because this was uh, a very trying time for all of us, and uh, to be able to have this is, is very amazing. So uh, thank you to every single one of you guys that are out here, that are making this possible, that are making this 2020 amazing, uh, no matter what we're going through, uh, you guys have a fucking amazing night, and uh, you know I love you and um, thank you. Yeah, well Cheers. said, brother. Good night, homies. Peace. <laughs>